at St Luke's we try in many different ways to try and give children a voice. can share each other's ideas and it's good to be heard. Everybody gets a say when we're learning or in any situation. We also need people who do this wonderful phrase which is called courageous advocacy and that means that they're brave enough to say what's right. When people have ideas they don't need to be scared to share it out with everyone else even if it's wrong or right. Trust, trust the children um, and follow their ideas and it gives all children the opportunity to shine. When you teach an inquiry-based curriculum, it gives students um, a desire to learn. We could be anything that we wanted to be. I think everyone's opinion like counts. And yeah, that and it matters. Yeah, and everyone should have like a fair and equal just yeah, because like everyone idea. everyone deserves the right to tell their ideas and get them heard. We could be anything that we wanted to be. So one of the things we've we've developed is not putting hands up, using fingers on noses or fingers on chests. Fingers on noses. So I think that doing this or this is better than doing that. You need a lot of confidence to put your hand in the air. We all get in groups and we all have I get ideas from what we think we could investigate or what we could do with this picture and like recreate it or like do whatever we want to recreate it. This year's picture was the men of the docks, so our six houses in school um, planned, the house captains planned with their house um, the activities that they were going to do for one whole day. In each of our houses we were looking at the picture and getting some ideas and my house chose to do about the ship we have a, a week where we're focused on that picture mm -hmm. and so we look at the picture we then as the children uh, say their ideas without too much from the adults that the children lead it of what's in the picture what they can see painting a ship drawing a ship making a mod lover ship doing a ship timeline <laughs> It's really important that our young people feel empowered to take part in the democratic process. So one of the things we do at St Loops is encourage children to take part in democratic situations. Uh, we've been talking about what we want to do with the bus and, and thinking about ideas to do downstairs and upstairs. We have the bus committee to decide what we do with it and they get to give their ideas and other people's ideas from their class and say what we want. But we want it to be the children's ideas that come up with what we do with the boss. By creativity I don't just mean drawing pictures or dancing or playing a musical instrument. Creativity is at the heart of everything that we are looking for within society. They will have seen um, an, um, a ballet, they will have been to the opera, they will have been to quite often to the Halle, they will have had the opportunity to play in concerts um, themselves. By encouraging creativity and pupil voice, it really helps the children be happy, confident learners. I love this school, so I think people should just take ideas and make their school as good as that. And I would urge anybody to take the opportunities that are offered by being part of this process. At the heart of Artsmark is the idea that everybody is a creative person. Teachers are control freaks. Teachers like to be in control of what happens 
and when we first started doing things, particularly things like the take one picture, we said we were letting the children take the lead. But actually what we were doing was we were saying, what might you be interested in? Okay, we're going to do this and we're going to do it in this way, that way and the other way. So we had to actually stop and come up with a way of really letting the children be in control. And I would just say, just get brave. Get brave, have a go. You're not going to make a big mistake. It's not going to be the end of the world. And we all worry about Ofsted, but do you know what? Ofsted love confident, happy learners. And that's what we have at St Luke's. I think they develop independence and resilience that it's all right to make a mistake, that it's okay to explore different ideas um, and to take risks. We don't just find the answer and write it and then move on. We have to tell and share with all the other children. She's now been able to find her voice through the assemblies, through the, the dance show, through this nurturing of the, of the softer skill side. When I hear children who come from another school who are able to articulate what's different about St Luke's and are able to say why it is they really enjoy being at St Luke's, that makes me feel that I'm on the right track, that the ethos and the kind of school I'm trying to build at St Luke's helps children to learn all those soft skills but they're actually in many ways more important than the hard skills. To follow their ideas and to let them lead the learning sometimes because it's amazing where children can take you. With all the talent we have.